This is How I Discovered Poetry. By Marilyn Nelson. It was like soul kissing, the way the words filled my mouth as Mrs. Purdy read from her desk. All the other kids zoned an hour ahead to 315, but Mrs. Purdy and I wandered lonely as clouds borne by a breeze off Mount Parnassus. She must have seen the darkest eyes in the room brim. The next day, she'd given me a poem she'd chosen especially for me to read to the all-except-for-me white class. She smiled when she told me to read it, smiled harder, said, oh, yes, I could. She smiled harder and harder until I stood and opened my mouth to banjo playing darkies, pickaninnies, disses, and dats. When I finished, my classmates stared at the floor. We, we walked, walked silent to, to the, the buses, buses, awed by the power of words. Thank you. Thank you. This is our response. It's called My Swag. S-W-A-G-G-E Are you gonna stand there and try to diss me? Cause I got more swagger than your cheap ass bling I got more swagger than your gangsta lean And your M16 and your Cadillac sheen I got more swagger than a bitch OG My swag cannot be confined to a pair of baggy pants Dragging itself along in an awkward stance With legs crippled by indifference, no, no. No, my swag is tighter than your girlfriend's apple bottom jeans. Squeezing thoughts into her wildest of dreams while my words embrace her curves better than your hands ever could. My swag will not be found gleaming in the reflection of a gold chain, weighing down your neck in an empty head clouded by a potent strain. My swag is the brainchild of Shakespeare and Biggie. It shines under spotlights, weaving words into witty rhymes, prying open young minds to sneak in not so subtle lines of poetry like. My swag will not bust a cap in your ass. But every syllable I spit will surpass your limited definition of pimpin' and clear the smoke-filled tunnel vision clouding your capabilities. Cause while you were still learning your ABCs, my swag wrote hundred-page novels and prize-winning trilogies. Anthologies completely free of bitches and hoes. Cause my swag always knows how to properly treat a lady. My swag does not slobber down the side of metallic-covered teeth, stifling words the way your bottle of crystal slur speech. My swag lingers at the tip of the tongue, tapping consonants with more rhythm than a young Bob Fosse, singing sentences into symphonies, notes, notes flowing into crescendo, words molding into a masterpiece, leaving legacies that'll last at least until this poem ends. But before your attention descends into a deficit, I intend to shed light on, on the, the power, power of words. words. Igniting sparks within your auditory nerves until you can't fight the urge to write. Until the weight of your goals measure up to more than a clenched hand cradling a pipe insisting, Life ain't nothing but a G thing. No. No, life is the sigh of relief I breathe knowing paper beats crack rock every time knowing my rhymes can make a pen look more threatening than the barrel of a gun spilling ink instead of blood to let you know that my swag can outrun your gangsta lean and crip walk facade before this poem is even done leaving you tired and out of breath your heart beating like a drum trying desperately to finish the race but my swag has already won thank you